Hi, my name is Robert and I'm from Ohio. I've been a Republican since 1996. I cast my first vote in an election for Bob Dole. And in the, in the past, when I lived in the state of Colorado, I got more involved and I, during the 2008 campaign, I went to a local campaign headquarters and made get out the vote phone calls for the John McCain campaign. In 2012, I actually got involved in the primaries and I went to my precinct and my county caucuses and I ended up being selected to go to the state convention. I became a delegate at the Colorado State Convention and I cast my vote for Mitt Romney. When he won the party nomination, I went to a campaign headquarters and made get out the vote phone calls for the Mitt Romney campaign. It felt good to be involved. I felt like I was a part of something positive. I moved back to my home state of Ohio and during the 2016 elections, I really didn't want Donald Trump to win. I thought he must be doing it as some kind of a publicity stunt, and I really didn't think he was going to make it. But when he did, I decided that as a Republican, I would support him. I really didn't want Hillary Clinton to be the president. So during the election season, I went to my local library and I reserved a room and I started a group. I started a Facebook group and I made an announcement in some of the local community pages and I let people know I was going to starting a group to get out the vote for Donald Trump. And I met some of the local Republicans and some Trump supporters. I even started going around my community and knocking on doors, encouraging people to get up and vote. And after a while, though, I just became really disappointed with Donald Trump, his behavior, his rhetoric, and uh, I decided I no longer could support him publicly. During the election, I almost voted for him. I really didn't want Hillary Clinton to be the president. And on election day, I went into the voting booth and I was, I was trying to get myself to, to fill in the little spot in front of Donald Trump's name, but before I did it, I remembered what he said about Mexico and Mexicans. And I remembered my Mexican grandmother. And I just couldn't bring myself to do it. So I wrote in Marco Rubio because I like Marco Rubio and I didn't want to leave a blank spot. I did vote for a Republican. Now, I realize that it's not enough just to not vote for Donald Trump. I know I have to vote against him. And I have to vote for somebody who will actually make an effort to unite the country, not further divide us. This year, I'm doing something I never imagined I would ever do. I'm voting for a Democrat. I'm going to vote for Joe Biden in this election. There are some policies he has that I probably won't agree with, but I do believe he is a man of integrity who will work to unite the country, not to turn us against one another and to use that for his advantage. I believe he'll be a competent leader, and I believe he'll bring dignity back to the presidency. And I definitely do not believe Donald Trump has brought dignity to the presidency or to our country. And I want to thank those of you who took the time to listen to what I have to say. And I, I hope that you will cast your vote for Joe Biden this year too. I truly believe that Donald Trump and the Trump cult of personality is one of the gravest dangers facing our democracy at this time. Thank you.